Hey, I'm on the road here. We're going to Savannah, then to then to Buford. Oh, never mind. Uh, I'm here with the band, Cross That River. It's our first big show before we start the tour from now until April. Um, we got a lot of friends coming from Florida coming up, Hillhead, Savannah. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Besides that, I wish you were here too. But we have Nimrod over here. Nimrod's on bass. He's right there. He's sleeping. Sound sleep. I got Norman Edwards on the drums. Wonderful singers with me. Beautiful violinist named Charles Burn. And there's Jeremy. Where's Jeremy? There's Jeremy right Jeremy there. Right there. Jeremy's one of the singers. I got Pat. I'm always here. So look, I'll keep you posted because right now we're in the air. We got another hour before we land. And uh, that's about it. He's heading south to do cross that river. I'll keep you posted. I sure wish you were here because I sing better when I have uh, familiar faces in my crowd. All right, I'm Alan Harris. I'll talk to you later on. Bye. Speak to me. We're yeah, should, we be inside? should we be we're, in front of the restaurant? Where are we? We're in Beaufort, South Hi. Carolina. Hi. On tour with Cross That River. Hey. These are the beautiful yes. women of Cross That River. Hello. Hello. Marissa. Hi. Arco. Hi. Tanisha. That's right. Woo. <laughs> hey, boys. Lucky hey. us. <laughs> we're backstage with Alan Harris just before Cross That River. And we're doing it for school children from the Beaufort, South Carolina area. Alan, what are you going to do for the kids today? I'm going to have fun. I'm going to let them just enjoy themselves, tell them a little history about themselves and about America and how we can all empower each other by what? By first loving each other, working together, and believing that this is a great country. I'm just glad to be here in South Carolina for these kids. And I want to thank Beaufort for having me. And we want to remember that the history of America means that we all came together in this country and the history of the black cowboys, how they helped settle the West during the cattle drives to feed the nation after the Civil War was a very important part of our history. Very important. Okay, okay see you later. Back in 1860, Mama Lala, she didn't live down in the slave quarters with the rest of us, no sir. She lived up in that big house up on the hill with all them fancy white folks. That's right. She cooked for them, she sucked with their baby, she sold. She knew every person's name of color from 30 miles around. Who was being bought, who was being sold, and who was gonna run away. Are we gonna run away? Yeah! You gonna run away with us? Yeah! That's right. I said, Mama, I love. What am I supposed to do? Anybody ride a horse here? You ever been on a horse? All right, let's take for a ride. This is Norman Edwards. Give it up, kid. Charles, Nimrod, Jeremy, hey, say hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Young Lou, Marissa, hello. Courtney, hey. Alan Harris. Hey, hey. Who's behind you? Is that Arco? Yeah. Arco Ida Sandoval? Arco. Arco. <laughs> We're and this, is, this is our new friend, Wes. Oh, Norman. And Wes does <laughs> not want, he's like he's he behind the camera, the camera, right? <laughs> So I can carry on I must 
Springtime 